Paul, first home league game of the season and, uh, and off to a flyer. Yeah, it's, it's always pleasing to get three points. If you can pick up points on the road, as we did last week, albeit a little frustrated that it wasn't three points, uh, your home games become vital that you, that you pick up your three points more often than not. And I'm understanding that won't happen all the time, but I think uh, on today's showing, uh, people come here and, and they'll be wary of the way we're playing at the minute. So really pleased, a bit frustrated, obviously, with the, the last part of the game. Uh, Vented my frustrations in there, which is slightly irksome because it takes away from how good the boys were for the main in the game. So, uh, no, overall, a really good day's work for us. Important as well to get a proper week's preparation. Was it slightly more calm this week, or I believe was it double sessions for some of the guys? Yeah, I mean, it's just a working week, just the, the process we'll get into. Mondays, Tuesdays, doubles, Thursdays, doubles. So, that's just the, the process that we'll work to. And um, we've done that all pre season anyway, so that's no different to. To what they're used to already coming into the club uh, and yes it's, it's made a difference in terms of preparation and things but uh, and I know I said it last week the boys with the lack of preparation they had in training time were, were exceptional uh, and again their, their attitude and application to to do as myself, Danny and Bobby are trying to get to is uh, real credit to them because they're taking everything on board just now. I know there'll be bumps in the road but if they continue to show the same appetite as they're showing we won't be too far away. One of the things that really struck me today was the, the engagement with the fans at the style of play, the, you know, the, the kind of quick transitions, as somebody said. The fans seem to react really positively to that. Uh, to what extent is that something you're trying to, to drill into the players? I, I think when you've got that youthful exuberance at the top end of the pitch, I think Nisbet is a huge part of that. He, he sets the tone and he gets after people. Callum Morrison, exciting in possession, shows real pace, a desire to get the ball back. Keener today, obviously worked away, he's not played a lot of football, there was a lot of demand on him today uh, because he's he's had an injury and then he had to isolate with the Covid, so he's not trained a lot at all, so he's done his shift today. McGuffey getting better and better as the games go on, so we've got loads of energy in the areas and then when you make subs, you bring on Sam and you bring on Seb, Ben, again you've got more excitement coming into the squad, so it's going to be a squad game, we've told them that, but I think ultimately if we can play with that energy, uh, it brings the fans on board, obviously. In, in that tempo, how key was that? Uh, you know, to, to get off to a good start because I have to say, by my count, it was 17 passes, and then the, the 18th touch was the, the header from Craig. The goals are ridiculous. The goals are the exceptional. I mean, people, if that was a Barcelona or something. I'm not getting too carried away. Don't quote me on this. Uh, comparison too much but in terms of the way we've played and, and Neno getting near the ball and the build for the back into the midfield and then the cross and the, the, the Guff's getting in a brilliant position to head it it's a, it's a brilliant goal uh, and people enjoy watching that back I'm sure I can't wait to see it back myself but honestly it's, it's everything we want to be in terms of how we're looking to play uh, and to see it coming off as early as we do there is uh, really exciting for me Perhaps a key question this afternoon. Do you think Paul Dixon can be that 20 goal a season striker you've been looking for? <laughs> He's off to a flyer, that's for sure. Uh, if the delivery is good and, and we've got enough bodies around the box, he, he, I mean, he, he took his goal brilliantly, but his all round defensive pro, uh, game today was, was really good. And he's another one that's frustrated with conceding the goal because as a back lot, you're obviously. Uh, judged on clean sheets and the more you can keep the more you give yourself opportunities to win games so they're frustrated in there as well for that point of view but, but Dicker's another one since I came in with his experience and helping the younger ones and developing them and he's constantly in the rear not just on a Saturday but training days and everything and he brings a lot to the club so please for him to get in amongst the goals again What to, to at least to my layman's eyes seemed to allow us to control the second half was the fact that we kept Peterhead really penned in. How pleased are you with the kind of the high press and the fact that you know we just seem to kind of mop up and it'd be second to first, sorry, to every second ball. I mean, I mean, we're trying. There's wee bits that obviously we need to get better at, but that, that's part of the process as well. Uh, how we want to play and how we want to go against teams. I think I, I stress that, that we're a full-time club and in terms of fitness levels and everything, we do have a huge advantage. But you have to implement that advantage, and I think up till now. Uh, we've probably done that, Albion Rovers here, uh, then today again against Peterhead, Cove again part time, I think our energy showed a wee bit uh, at certain times, so we need to do all we can to implement our full time fitness against clubs that don't have the advantage of training four or five times a week and well beyond that with your double sessions as well, I think we get a couple of hours on a Tuesday and a Thursday and it's, it's not easy that, so we have to do all we can to take advantage of that and, and we'll continue to try and do that. 
Since the, the Kenai isolation, there's a couple of faces we haven't seen. So Ryan Williamson, Brad Mackay, how are these guys doing? Yeah, fine in terms of health. It's, it's nothing to do with a COVID situation. That's just injuries. So there's nothing in terms of that to worry about. It's, it's just injuries that, that both of them have picked up. And it's just coincidental. It's fell in the same time as the, the COVID. So uh, hopefully not too long. Uh, both of them, hopefully we'll get them in amongst the squad within a week or two anyway. And, uh, tell us about Sam, because obviously this was the first chance that the fans got to, to look at him. You know, just the signing announced a few hours before kickoff. Uh, yeah, we've had him in. We've had him in. We've had a good look at him. He's, he's still very raw, and he's still got a lot to learn. But we've seen enough potential in him to suggest that he could be a threat in certain games and at certain times. He's, he's still got a lot of developing to do. Again, one that suffers through COVID over the last year or so, where he's, he's not been playing and he's not had the opportunity to get going. So we'll give him that platform, and it's up to him what he does with that. Uh, he's been a good boy around the place. He's, he's willing to learn and he's willing to listen. And if he continues to do that, hopefully he, he'll become an asset for us. I remember what you were saying in signing interviews and we spoke previously in terms of numbers. Um, are you roughly about there now or perhaps just one one more We're slot? getting there. I mean, we're, the young boys have actually uh, gave us a wee headache because they've actually came in and done really well. So do we stick with that or can you get enough out of them week in, week out? Maybe not if you pick up injuries. Maybe they can dip in and out. Uh, maybe again I'm doing them a bit disrespect but up until now they've they've been very good that's uh, Mackenzie, Ben Weeks, Cammy Williamson who've came in for the development uh, trials and things and we've managed to pick them up out of the blue and they've actually really excelled up to now so they're helping top up the squad do we probably need to strengthen it a wee bit Yes, we do, but in terms of numbers, uh, I've been really fortunate that the club have backed me in bringing these young boys in and giving them a pathway, so that's certainly helping us at the minute. And just finally, Paul, it's at East Kilbride, I believe, on Wednesday here at the Falkirk Stadium. Give us your thoughts on that one. Again, it'll be tough. They've, they've got a, a experienced group of players who've played the uh, lower leagues uh, a lot of their careers, a lot of them, so we know how, how tough it'll be. Uh, we'll mix it up. We'll, we'll get people games that, that haven't had minutes because obviously the two games we miss we need to start finding ways of topping boys up and this will give us that opportunity that doesn't mean I'm, I'm disrespecting the competition or anything it, we want to win every game as a club we want to try and do that uh, so whatever squad I put out they'll be put out to try and win a game of football but it'll become more difficult because we'll probably be a wee bit younger Paul well, well, congratulations on the, uh, the win today and as always thanks for your time thanks very much Lewis